Most enterprises aren't doing it now. Big consulting firms aren't advising them to do it. And this is killing us. So organizations need uh, uh, immediate and honest audits of the disaster recovery and high availability architectures. When you do an architecture, uh, cloud architecture, whatever, you have to look at redundancy, you have to look at failover, you have to look at resiliency operations. And believe it or not, people have a tendency not to look at them because they view them as very expensive. They're not that expensive, certainly if you're leveraging you know, all cloud alternatives that are normally le much less costly than the hyperscalers out there. So we have to build these failover capabilities. We have to test them. So these can't just be a checkbox exercise. And obviously many people have assumed that the redundancy um, that they would need to build in the architectures isn't needed because they view the hyperscalers as having the ability to do that. Hyperscalers have some redundancy that's built into the systems or else we would see more outages than we did this week, but obviously it's not, it's not foolproof. And so things go wrong. Hyperscalers, no matter how well they run their infrastructure, it's gonna go down from time to time, just like we saw with AWS. Um, we need to expect it and not be surprised when it happens. And we have to assume the worst and build redundancy, build resiliency around these architectures. Most enterprises aren't doing it now. Big consulting firms aren't advising them to do it. And this is killing us. Enterprises must demand clear and stronger service level agreements from the cloud providers with transparent communication protocols during outages and meaningful pen penalties for downtime. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what SLAs were in place with some of these larger enterprises that were impacted, you know, obviously in the billions of dollars, it's major money. And in some cases, enterprises are going to be put at risk with some of these outages. In other words, they're going to lose customers, they're going to lose sales to the point it's going to put their business in jeopardy. Look at these because they're very important and many of them are written one sided toward the hyperscalers. So in other words, SLAs are, you know, typically, um, you know, set up. So it's in the favor of the people who had an outage this week, not necessarily you who has a smaller business. So read them, understand them, and if you have to, go renegotiate them. But big consulting firms, I think, have a responsibility to their clients around things like this. Stop sugarcoating risks for fear of upsetting powerful cloud partners.